She's the half-sister of the Michael Hutchins, who claims to have had a close relationship with the late singer. And ahead of the 20th anniversary of his untimely death, Tina Hutchins has opened up about what she believes really caused his passing. On Thursday, the 70-year-old California resident told Who that Michael's death was the result of a split-second decision that stemmed from anger and frustration. I learned of Michael's death in a phone call from our younger brother, Rhett, at the same time as it was being reported over CNN, she said. I firmly believe Michael's death was a split-second decision made out of anger and frustration. She added, I do believe the coroner Derek Hans' findings, though it is a lot more complex than gross. The late Inks's star was found dead in a hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Sydney's Double Bay on 22 November 1997 he was 37. NSW state coroner Derek Hand, who presided over the inquest into his death, previously confirmed he died from suffocation caused by hanging. Mr. Han previously said, on consideration of the entirety of the evidence I am satisfied Hutchins was in a severe depressed state on the morning of 22 November 1997. This was due to a number of factors, including the relationship with Paula Yates and the pressure of the ongoing dispute with Sir Robert Geldof, combined with the effects of the substances that he had ingested at that time. I am satisfied the cause of death was hanging. I am also satisfied there was no other person involved in causing the death. It comes after Tina recently described her late brother's mental state leading up to his death to Nova's Fitzy. Radio hosts Ryan Fitzy, Fitzgerald and Michael Whip Whipfly asked Tina if she sensed anything wrong with Michael. She reflected on the brain injury he had sustained during a night out in Denmark in 1992 with then-girlfriend Helena Christensen. The pop star was punched by a taxi driver and fell to the pavement, fracturing his skull, which resulted in him permanently losing his sense of taste and smell. Michael had been in pretty bad shape for over a year, she explained of the singer's mental state in the lead-up to his demise. He was on antidepressants. There were a number of things, not the least of which was the traumatic brain injury he'd earlier sustained. In the 90s, nobody knew much about a TBI. NOW, if somebody gets hit on the football field, they expel them right away. With large sound, a lot of people, crowded places, most people with a TBI cannot handle that. Well, that was Michael's business, she described. Tina also shared that her brother had called her the night before he flew back to Australia for the band's next tour stop and said he was not anxious to go. He really didn't want to go. Dick knew the whole tour had been tough on him. Actually, it was probably the first time that last year, often when I spoke to him, he would dissolve into tears, she stated. That was so not Michael. The pressures around him were just too much. He really needed a break. The British tabloid world was shocking, just vicious. Michael was a lover, not a warrior.